What? No, that's the other one. That's the one Mommy brought you. Thank you. Vipso benedictor Hawkins sensum in quia sinere cum obituary, patris et filia spiritus sancti, amen. I got it. Yeah, that arm. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what our Lord Jesus Christ saith. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and the great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets.
Gloria in excelsis Deo.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who has taken to thyself the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of thine incarnate Son, grant that we, who have been redeemed by his blood, may share with her the glory of thine eternal kingdom. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Ghost, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right then. Dominus
Bless Paul, you and Warren and Paul go together. Just grab your mask. Abipso benedictor hoc incense men quia senor cum abiturnary patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Sit in Corde Tuas and Labis Tuis at Sanctum Sanctum of Angelium Pachi, Spirit of Adam Nostrum, is in Christum. Amen. And with thy spirit, glory be to thee, O Lord. Praise be to thee, O Christ. of the sun.
I believe in one God. Sisters and brothers, I bid your prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving. Hear our prayer.
Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, who has given thine only Son to be unto us both a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life, give us grace that we may always most thankfully receive that, his inestimable benefit, and also daily endeavor ourselves to follow the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through the same, thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men. We acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us, The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life to the honor and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all those who with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and bring you unto everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord.
No, no, leave them. Just put it here. I'm consecrating oh. on the... It's more sanitary that way. A little more. Hmm? A little more. Abeo sit benedictus de quies latre exivit sanguis et aquina mani patris et filiat spiritus sancti. Amen. Sutipe sancta trinitas, hanc oblationum, quamigo indignas peccator, ferro in honore tu, beati mariae et omnium sanctorum tuorum, pro peccati sed offensionibus me, sed pro salute vivorum, et requie omnium fidelium defunctorum. Nomini patris et filia spiritus sancti, exceptum sit omnipotenti dei hoc sacrificium novum. Bipso benedictor hocken sensum in quis in recumbitor. Nomini patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen. Drop it. Derogator ad te domine oratio mea, secret in sensum inconspicu tuo. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, secret orat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Derogator ad te domine oratio mea, secret in sensum inconspicu tuo. Go this way. He'll get it. Mundum e Domine, abomine inequitamento mentis et corporis, ut possum mundus implere opus sanctum Domine, per Dominum nostrum usum Christum filium tuum. Amen. In the spiritu humiditatis et in animo contrito suspiciam or Domine ate, et sic fiat sacrificium nostrum in conspicu to te suspiciam hodie placabit tibi, Dominus Deus Meus, so many patris et filii et spiritus sancti. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable unto the Lord our God. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto Thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, because Thou didst give Jesus Christ, Thine only Son, to be born for us, who by the mighty power of the Holy Ghost was made very man of the substance of the Virgin Mary, his mother, that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become thy children. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we, Lord, and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying,
All glory be to thee, almighty God, our heavenly Father, for that thou of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there by his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect, and sufficient sacrifice, oblation, and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that, his precious death and sacrifice, until his coming again. For in the night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he brake it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, according to the institution of thy dearly beloved Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, we thy humble servants do celebrate and make here before thy divine majesty with these thy holy gifts, which we now offer unto thee, the memorial thy Son hath commanded us to make, having in remembrance his blessed passion and precious death, his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, rendering unto thee most hearty thanks for the innumerable benefits procured unto us by the same. And we most humbly beseech thee, O merciful Father, to hear us, and of thy almighty goodness vouchsafe to bless and sanctify with thy word and Holy Spirit these thy gifts and creatures of bread and wine, that we receiving them according to thy Son, our Savior Jesus Christ's, holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood. And we earnestly desire thy fatherly goodness mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, most humbly beseeching thee to grant that by the merits and death of thy Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, that we and all thy whole church may obtain remission of our sins and all other benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present unto thee, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice unto thee, humbly beseeching thee that we and all others who shall be partakers of this holy communion may worthily receive the most precious body and blood of thy Son, Jesus Christ, be filled with thy grace and heavenly benediction and made one body with him, that he may dwell in us and we in him. And although we are unworthy through our manifold sins to offer unto thee any sacrifice, yet we beseech thee to accept this, our bounden duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Ghost, all honor and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father,
the propitious pachum in diebus nostri suto per misericordia tu agiti, et apicata sinus semper liberi, et abomini perbationi securi perendum Christum dominum nostrum filium tuum qui tecum vivit et regnat, in unitate spiritus sancti deus, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. You two go down and bow to everybody. Amen. Yeah, I think today. Not next week or the three weeks. We'll start again in September. But today we're doing the whole thing. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table, but thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, given for thee.
the body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee, the body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving the body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Hold your hand flat. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee. And feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take and eat this in remembrance that Christ died for thee and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ given for thee. Preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Does Laura want communion? I can bring it to her. body of Jesus Christ for thee, Father, the Son, and God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and keep thee this day and evermore.
And no, I didn't go down just to bless the dogs. <laughs> Get on the other side, William. So you take them both. Water. That's good. Wine. Water. Give those back to Paul. Oh, right, you do this. I'm sorry. Wait, well, we'll figure this out. I have here, take that, William. Yes. I know you have to get the thorough one, but don't go too far during the announcements. I'm going to embarrass you just a little. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank Thee for that Thou dost feed us in these holy mysteries with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of Thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of Thy favor and goodness towards us, and that we are very members and corporate in the mystical body of Thy Son, the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom. And we humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory 
world without end. Amen. Please be seated. Very warm welcome to each and every one of you to St. Ignatius of Antioch today. I am so glad you have come out to celebrate the Feast of St. Mary the Virgin with us. Um, as I expected, we are a fuller house than we have been for a while, which is really terrific. It's wonderful to see so many of you here and to see visitors and folks we don't get to see very often. And so I hope you will stay there for, for coffee hour in just a few minutes, right outside on the front steps, for a chance to greet each other and uh, renew old acquaintances and say hi and catch up, on, catch up with, your, with, your, uh, with, with the folks you see every day also. Um, I want to thank Rick and the choir, and I want to thank the, uh, the benefactors of this Mass. It's so wonderful to be able to have um, this splendid music for, for, for our Midsummer Feast, especially when it falls on the day. To usually, you know, usually where, where we've transferred it a couple of days. But today is the Feast of the Assumption, the Feast of St. Mary the Virgin, and I'm glad we get to celebrate it all together. And speaking of all together, in fact, you will notice that there are more people up here than there have been since the 15th of March 2020. We're a little rusty, but, uh, but we're going to get back in the spirit of things, and I'm grateful to everyone who is, uh, who has been, who is willing to serve and who's going to be willing to serve going forward. And and to William, who was, uh, was, was, was here with me along with Rick for, the, for what was basically 70 straight weeks before we started adding more of you. But speaking of our servers, I, I want to embarrass one of them just a little. Um, lots of churches do this fairly regularly, partially because they have lots of teenagers going off to college. But I want to uh, say thank you to Julia for being such a wonderful server and be, for being such an amazing presence in this community. And I want us and I want the parish to wish you all the best as you start Mount Holyoke in just a couple of weeks. Um, I'm, I'm thrilled for you as we all are. You are such a special part of this community and I know we'll see you when, when you're home. Uh, applaud later, but she deserves all the applause that you're imagining in your head right now, which I hope is a great deal. Thank you, Julia. Thank you so much. Anyway, I'll look forward to seeing uh, all of you in just a few moments. Oops, and by. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you this day and remain amongst you always. Amen. The Lord be with you. Thanks be to God. Bipso benedicator Hawkins sent some in quia sonora crum bit to our Patris of Gilia Spiritus Sancti Amen.
Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, o Almighty ever God, who by the cooperation of the Holy Ghost did prepare the body and soul of the glorious Virgin Mother Mary to become a dwelling place meet for thy Son. Grant that as we rejoice in her commemoration, so by her fervent intercession we be delivered from the present evils and from everlasting death. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Bless, worshiped, and adored be Jesus Christ in this most holy sacrament of the altar and in the hearts and minds of his loving and faithful people. Amen. Amen.